Hello Sagittarius, welcome to the Manjula Awakening. My name is Kiana and today I just wanted to jump on and do an energy check-in, see how Sagittarius is showing up, see what's going on, what kind of advice this Sag need today in this moment. So this is going to be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, as well as Venus. I would also check this message out for any of your ninth house placements. So the cards that showed up for Sagittarius's energy today in this moment is the Six of Pentacles and the Hierophant card. So this is letting me know that Sagittarius is in this needs to be in this energy of receiving energy like those messages and wisdom that it, it, you're being called to use right now you're being called to exchange your wisdom there needs to be an equal exchange of wisdom here um, there's some lessons to be learned there are some the six of uh, pentacles it really does give me like the balancing out of energy uh, this is also negotiation, making sure that it's fair negotiation, stepping into your Hierophant energies. Let's see, what is the Oracle message? So this is the energy of Sagittarius. Let's see what the Oracle message is here. Is expectations, don't seek approval. So you're being asked to bring in a new perspective. Yeah, Voyage, you already know all the answers that you seek. That's this Hierophant energy here. This is the wisdom. So this is about digging, going within and, and trait like your abundance in this moment, whatever it is that you're struggling with, Sagittarius, your abundance in this moment is the wisdom. That's your trading point. That's how you're balancing out this skill. You're needing to tap into your um, Hierophant energy. What is the situation here for Sagittarius spirit? Guys, if at any point in time during this message, you do find that they're resonating, we do um, ask you to hit the like button. It does help get these messages out to other people in need. Also, we are doing a giveaway here on the Manjula Awakening. We ask that you hit the subscribe button and it automatically enters you in for an opportunity to win one of these three beautiful decks here. The Sufi Tarot is part of the giveaway and it is that big deck that I used at first. All right, Spirit, this is for Sag. What's the situation here? So we have the Moon card, the Five of Cups, and the Devil card. Wow, look at that dark energy there. Um, so definitely having to drop down in your heart chakra to, to negotiate this. That's where you're going to draw your wisdom at. You see, this is like this. I see it as a skeleton of a chest. And this... Um, light is coming down to his heart and in our chest is where our heart so i do i definitely feel like that this is about releasing the past and releasing how the past really does dictate you it's like the there's there's some type of regret some type of loss some type of remorse there's some type of toxic energy that you're holding on to and by holding on to that you're give you're giving it the strings to dictate your your thought space and your decision making skills and it's it's causing you to not be willing to face your fears and step out into the unknown this five of cups here is really saying it's time to make peace and surrender any past emotional it's time to drain those cups from any power that it still holds in you and then lift your head up without this heavy burdens of these past emotions lift your head up and really see that there is a cup full of glory behind you clarify the moon card for me spirit there's a need to release control here Sever ties with something, but let's let's clarify the moon first, spirit. The moon for Sagittarius. Why is this here for the situation? So we have the full card and the knight of wands so um there's some type of risk there's some type of um leap of faith that you're needing to take and um it's it's like i i, I go back this is the connect the knight of wands is connecting the moon to the five of cups and this is saying that um in order to take this leap of faith 
it is going to require this light-hearted energy, this adventurous like spirit, these fears in these these fears that are holding hostage that are dictating you in every possible way is really it's 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 keeping you heavy it's it's not allowing you to to take this risk i'm going to get a little bit farther into this but spirit can you please clarify the five of cups and then connect it to the devil for me There's some reckless energy here that does need it. Like it's like these fears and these anxieties cause reckless decision making, and that has to be addressed. Yeah. See, and I well, the irony of these cards right here is that normally the five of cups is depicted with three cups spilt and the need to find these two cups here but she's even dumping this one cup out and the and this is the five of cups is clarified by the ace of cups so there's a need to focus on that ace of cups and that's the abundance that's within you that is like that's a need to drop into your heart space in order to really navigate this situation because your fears boy are they screwing you over um also here uh to to connect this um five of cups to the devil card we do have this nine of pentacles so um there's something that you're like making sure like there's something that you're wanting to do uh, that wanting to do i feel like independently and 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 you're not really you're not really doing it is what i want to say it's like that you you won't do it because you don't see the resources inside of it but there's a major resource inside of it but it does require you to i don't know there's something about the need to reach out be mindful of who you're reaching out to but there is a need there's some type of energy here that is requiring you to tr like your wisdom is is the key to balancing out this situation here You already know all the answers that you seek. They are deep embedded within you. Um, we have the uh, Ten of Pentacles here uh, with the Five of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So this leap of faith that it, you're being required to take, it does have to do with your stability. It does have to do with your home life, your family dynamic. Um, and so there looks to be some type of fear surrounding this risk, this leap of faith that you're being called to take do you have the resources for this leap of faith do you have what it takes to be able to make this compromise hmm. so we have the page of swords you do if you're willing to communicate clearly there is a need to communicate clearly even though you're being t told to take a calculated leap of faith to take a leap of faith don't leave out the calculated part there is a need to do some investigation and ask the questions behind like if you if you have any confusion ask those questions and communicate clearly look do your research as it pertains to the longevity of a contract or of a uh, whatever this is an endeavor we have the justice here um so something is trying to if this is in regards to a court case, um, there is confidence is going to be required. Cor cor it's going to take courage. You're going to have to ask very courageous questions. You know, when you're left in the dark or you, there's confusion and you're nervous or whatever the case may be, you still have to be willing to ask those questions and understand that you don't have all the answers. And so be open to the answers that are trying to come into you. This devil energy is very closed off, rigid like energy, chained to one state of mind. It's time to release yourself from this self imposed like these this one-sided view you have to be open to something else and that's how you're going to find the answers the page of cups here so there's there is i keep getting this message there's some sort of offer that is coming in it is coming in um 
you're gonna there's also this need to defend like with this expectation don't seek anyone's approval there is this desire that you have that you want to go after um but there's something about it that keeps you from going after this and i feel like that it could come from uh, like the history the storyline of what you've been told um but it's like there's a need to release the expectation and really dive into it. You can have this new beginning, this new uh, emotionally uh, balanced and uh, um, new beginning. But it does require one to be willing to release the fears that have been established because of the past. This opportunity here, it is, it is protected. So absolutely, we have the Two of Cups here and the Four of Swords. So um, Wallace, I do feel like that, uh, like, I feel like that if you've been doing something by yourself, the key to seeing the brighter side of it is to exchange energies with someone. Okay, you don't have to do this by yourself, but I also feel like that this is saying that there is going to be some sort of... Um, there's 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 I feel like that there's going to be something beautiful that comes out of this, but the situation does look very murky right now. And in order to get out of this murkiness, it's going to require Sagittarius to take this calculated leap of faith with the bigger picture in mind, with the longevity, with um, like how this affects your children your stability and your bigger picture that has to be taken into account but there is a way out of whatever it is that you're facing you already know this we have the three of cups here at the bottom of the deck like there's something that's there's something that has been in turmoil there's been a lot of conflict inside of a situation it this situation is like meant to come back into peaceful partnership it is meant to come back in peaceful partnership. Um, but not until one can free themselves. Not until one can stop thinking that they're here and see where and begin to see where they're really at. Can they then begin to compromise and really truly negotiate this this conflict that is around them? And and there's this guarded energy around this right here. But this is inevitable. And even though this is a minor arcana, I feel like that that is inevitable because of this hierophant energy here. Okay, but let's get one of these. This is the Cosmic Soul Journey. It is part of the giveaway. Let's get one of these. And then I want to get a Moonology message. And then if you guys want to ask a yes or no, I will use the angel answers at the end of the message. Thank you, Spirit. So it says, you deserve to, uh, oh, you decided to wake up or why else would you draw me? Um. I'm actually going to read that card. I've never read it. Give us just a moment. Okay, it says, Ring, ring. What if you've left clues and signs for yourself as wake-up calls from this lifetime, knowing that you would fall asleep to your true mission? These symbols appear in books, movies, songs, colors, names, etc. are calling you. There's a reason you've been drawn to this cosmic journey right now. And drawing this card is the next jolt forward. Pay attention. Pay attention. What is real? That's right. That's that Eight of Swords energy. What is real? We can dream while fully awake, but we have to choose to wake up first. You're both the dreamer and the dreamed, ready to bring your dreams to life. And then here at the bottom of the deck, it says, your greatest work is your legend, legendary legacy right here. So um, there's a decision that you're going to be called to, like there's, you're going to be called to face your fears uh, and in this, well, this is an energy check-in. So this is where you're at whenever you find this message or headed into it. Um, you're going to be called to face your fears and truly make Take a leap of faith and start out on a new be a new journey. Start out on a new beginning. Your journey is beginning now. It's you've you've decided to do things differently, and now it's time to bring that out of your thought space and actually put it into action in this pentacle form. 
subconsciously we have your light grows brighter only by lighting another one once again this connection is meant to come back together because of this hierophant energy there is some type of exchange of information that the divine needs to be exchanged here there are some karmic um, ties here that need to be surrendered both you and this person and even if this person isn't there on their journey it is still meant for you to grasp your lesson you are on a voyage and you know what your voyage is requiring from you so this is an, a higher opportunity to ascend on your journey let me get this moonology messaging uh and so we can get to the angel answers guys all right spirit can we please have one moonology message for the collective thank you <laughs> Have faith in your dreams. Absolutely. This is a time of healing. It's right behind. Have faith in your dreams. Absolutely, Sagittarius. And then we have a full moon in Aquarius. Show the world the real you. It's time for you, for your greatest work to show. It's time for you to step out and be who you're meant to be, which is this Hierophant energy here. All right, so go ahead and ask your yes or no question. Uh, let's see what the spirits have for you. All right, Divine Sagittarius has a yes or no question. What is the answer for Sagittarius? It says improving health. So things are improving. At the bottom of the deck, we do have opportunities. And just in case you missed the message, it says this the situation will improve. And then we have ask your angels. Let's go one more round. Spirit Sagittarius has another yes or no question. What is the answer? Thank you. It says recovery. I feel like Sagittarius just asked the same question in a different form. It is recovering. It is improving, Sag. And at the bottom of the deck, it has choose a new direction. And then at the top of the deck, it says, get more information. All right, Sagittarius, I pray that this message provided you with some guidance on your journey. If this message resonated, we would absolutely appreciate a thumbs up down below. And in all that we say and in all that we do moving forward, let's choose peace, Sagittarius. Love and light, guys.